Hi everyone, my name is Shireen and welcome to my channel as I usher into your healing and greatness. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing, for liking, for hitting the notification bell and also for watching my videos. And to those that haven't already subscribed, it's not too late. You can subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on these great videos. So the way that I have for you today is that God is saying that pray for your husbands, your current husbands. Pray for your future husbands. Pray for your sons because where they are, it's so deep and they need your prayers to come out so that they can be there with you, so that they can come and be there with you and rejoice with you and marry you. So God is saying that our men are in prison and they will be rescued by your prayers. Some of you, you are still not where you want to be some of you don't have the things that you want in your life you don't have the joy in your marriage why it's because your man is in bondage god is saying that you must pray for him some of you are still not married why because the person who has to come into your life and marry you is still in bondage but god is saying that you must pray for him so that he can come out and do the purpose of the lord Lord, he can come out and bring joy into your life. Let me read this scripture for you. It's in Acts chapter 12. It says, from verse 5, it says, So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was brought was to bring him to trial. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains. And sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. The angel said to him, Put on your clothes and sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me the angel told him peter followed him out of the prison but he had no idea that what the angel was doing was really happening he thought he was seeing a vision they passed the first and second guards and came to the iron gate leading to the city it opened for them by itself and they went through it when they walked when they had walked the length of one street suddenly the angel left him then peter came to himself and said now i know without a doubt that the lord has sent his angel and rescued me from herod's clutches and from everything the jewish people were hoping would happen when this had dawned on him he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark, where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed, she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter is at the door. Amen. So from where we have just read, the Bible says that the church was earnestly praying for Peter. Peter was in prison. And if you can read from the book of Ephesians 5 verse 25, it says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church. So what does the church mean? The church it means that it is the wife. The church is the woman. It means that the woman were praying for Peter to come out of prison, earnestly praying for Peter to come out of prison. The reason why the angel appeared to Peter in prison, it was because the wife, the woman, the church, had prayed for him god is saying that our men are in trouble and they need our prayers 
They have been bound. They are in chains. They are guards that are securing them to make sure that they don't escape from the life that they are in. But it will take a woman who is going to pray for her man to change. It's going to take a woman who is going to pray for her man to come back home. God is saying that pray for your man to come back home where he belongs. He does not belong in prison. He can still come out from those chains that have bound him. Our men are bound in chains. So you can, as you have read in that scripture, when the angel of the Lord had appeared, the chains that had bound him and there were two chains, they fell off. It's going to take a powerful prayer. Someone who's going to pray earnestly so that the two chains that they have that have bound his life to fall off. God is saying that men are bound in great chains and where they are, they are not dressed up. They are naked. That is why the angel of the Lord said that cover yourself with a cloak and put on your sandals. The men where they are Ah, they are naked. They are in different rooms being naked. But God is saying that pray for him so that he can be covered. For he is naked. Pray for him so that he can be covered. So that his dignity can be restored back unto him. It's going to take a woman who is going to pray earnestly for her men. She's going to rescue her own men through her prayers. People are expecting, people are hoping for perfect men. But God is saying that your prayer is the one that is going to make him perfect. Your prayer is the one that is going to save him from the place that he is at, from the prison where he is at, from that nakedness that he is at. It's going to require you to earnestly pray for him, earnestly pray for your sons because because one day they are going to become someone's husband. Earnestly pray for the man that you want in your life. For he is tied up in the chains. It requires a woman who is going to pray. These days we are complaining that men are trash. Men are this. Men are that. Men are unfaithful. Why? It's because they are in a great prison. It's going to take earnest prayer so that the angel of the Lord can lead them out of where they are. And also something that happened there, the angel of the Lord found Peter sleeping. He was asleep. He told him to get up. Our men are sleeping. They are not doing what they are supposed to be doing. They are fast asleep. But it's going to take your prayer to wake him up from where he is at. It's also going to take your prayer to take him out of the prison. Where he was at, where Peter was at, there were two guards. Where Peter was at, there was also iron gates. But God is going to take them out of that gate, the pit of the prison that they are in. It's too guarded. It's so difficult to come out of it. It's going to take a wife. It's going to take a woman who is going to pray for him earnestly. And because the church was praying, Peter managed to come out and knock at the door. And when they have heard, when Rhoda heard that it was Peter, she was happy that Peter was out. So God is saying that pray for your man to come out. Pray for him to come out of that addiction. Pray for him to come out of that spirit of adultery, to come out of that spirit of lust, to come out of that laziness. Pray for him him to wake up from where he is sleeping. Pray for him to be clothed again, to have dignity again, to put on his clothes again. God is saying that pray for them, pray for them, pray for them. They require your prayer. The husband that you are still waiting for, he requires your prayer because he's in a great prison. Your prayer can save him. And when that prayer 
Jesus saves him, he's going to come back to you. He's going to come into your life, but it requires someone who is going to pray earnestly so they can break those iron gates, so he can break those iron gates in his life, so he can wake up from where he is sleeping. God really loves you and God loves our man. God loves this man. God wants to see your husband in your life. God wants to see him fulfilling the role that he had called him for in your love, in your life, showing you love, showering you with love. And that can't happen when he's still locked up in prison. So God is saying that he wants to take him out of the prison so that you can be astonished, so that you can be happy in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope that you were blessed by this video. And if you were blessed, don't forget to subscribe, to like, to the notification bell, and also to watch more of my other videos. Stay blessed.